Salute to everybody just now coming in. Um, my apologies, y'all, man. I've been deep in fatherhood, so I ain't been posting posting the way I should. Um, y'all hit the like button if y'all haven't already. We're going to get back active. We just crossed over 11,000 subscribers, so I just want to say um, salute to all y'all. Um, I pray protection over your family. We're going to talk about Sean King today, but also not just Sean King. It's something that I really want to dig into with, with just the community as a whole. Um, I seen Baba talked about this as well, but this was on my heart this morning, so that's why I know it's about. I really need to speak about this because it was on my heart earlier to, uh, to speak on it, but I got so caught up in everything I was doing in the home life that I wasn't able to make the I wasn't able to make the video, the content, so on and so forth. But right now, we're gonna speak about it. Now, Sean King, um, they said that he just purchased a new home, or, or him and his wife, or however they just purchased a new home in Lake Fort, New Jersey. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is a suburban area. This is a suburban area it's not back in our community it's not back in our um poverty stricken areas so on and so forth and i wouldn't expect nobody to get rich and go back and live in live in live in the projects i mean come on now let's be honest but at the end of the day i do i do expect our people to um not forget about where they come from well i find it hard to believe a lot of these black activists these black Lives matter movement guys these uh patrice patricia or whatever her name was that you know the 3.2 million so on and so forth allegedly um, they find a way to make it back to them same white communities that they talked about. They find a way to live around that. They neighbors be them same white people that they talked about. You know, um, it's like they get the money and they run off there. They don't, they don't circulate their money back into our communities. You know what I'm saying? You know, they say, uh, the black community money, uh, turns over one time before it's into another person's community. Meaning we don't own no stores. We don't own no gas stations. Um, we don't own no, uh, restaurants. We don't, own, I mean, the black community as a whole, I'm saying collectively for the most part, we don't own much. So when you see guys like Sean King um, do all this Black Lives Matter movement stuff, and he, he goes on a spill about how his wife makes whatever she make, and, and, and maybe that was off of, off of the, the savings of his wife or him and his wife collectively, however the case may be, maybe he feels as though he don't want people to believe that he's scamming the Black Lives Matter movement for money, and who would want to be considered as a scam? But I want you guys to comment below, and y'all let me know. What do y'all think about Sean King? Um... All of a sudden now, the same way you seen was there, Patricia um, from the Black Lives Matter, the, the, the co-founder of the Black Lives Matter movement, go off in, in, in $3.2 million, was that last year, allegedly? Now you see Sean King this year and his wife. So it's like, yeah, a lot of these families, a lot of these families receive some money, but a lot of these families don't as well. But I see a lot of the black community get financial gains off the backs of these families' pain. And that's what I really have a disdain for. You know what I'm saying? It's not that, I, that I'm not about the Black Lives Matter movement as a whole because the name itself sounds good. The Black Lives Matter, if it's black in front of it and, and um, letting everybody know that the lives of, of, of people that look like me, um, that look like maybe some of you guys, even if you don't feel like you're black, quote unquote, you know what I'm saying? But if you just the name, the title as a whole, you understand what it's portraying or what it's um, highlighting. The name is what I, I I salute that, but the people behind it in the mess in the agenda and what they pushing behind the name is something that I'm not into. And you see a lot of these guys capitalize off the backs; they get financial gains off these families' pain. And I'm sick of seeing it. You see it even in the YouTube world. You see it in in real life, so on and so forth. Us as the black community, us as the whatever you want to say you are. You know what I'm saying? Because I see in the comment section a lot of people say they're not black. All that. Okay, cool. Whatever you feel like you are, um, us as a whole, with melanin skin, you know, people look like me and you. You get what I'm saying? Uh, we have to stop capitalizing, getting financial gain off other people's pain. Some people only want to get involved as if if it's money involved. They won't they won't come and speak for that black boy that got killed by another brother and say you know in these communities and stand on in these communities we gotta stop doing this. We gotta love each other. We gotta we gotta push the envelope of being united as one. United we stand, divided we fall. You get what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of times you see with these with these people in big positions they do the divide and conquer. You know they 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 maximize and create so much revenue off of dividing and conquering our, our community, right? So Sean King, it's a lot of things that I seen the brother was trying to do for our community, but I do really question, man, um, what's really going on when you see a brother take the money and go back to them same communities and buy in those same communities that he speak about, um, that he speak to be against, or these same people that he claimed to be the oppressor, so on and so forth, they go back into those communities. And I don't know exactly where Sean King live, but if I'm not mistaken, my homework says that it's a suburban area. You know what I'm saying? Same as like I said, the, the co-founder of the Black Lives Matter movement did. It's, it's a system. 
that everybody seems to you really care about your people i believe in going back buying the land in our communities like I got, in, in, a, in a perfect world i would love to see our people go back to our communities you know um the poverty areas you know when they tear down the projects and all that stuff and that land just means nothing I would love for our people to put their money together. You know, see how people donate on these. They, they able to create a lot of money. A lot of people, the world is woke in a lot of ways now. A lot of people is able to get the get the information you guys are putting out, and they donate to these schools, such as Dr. Umar Johnson, or they don't. They donate to these causes, I should say, like Dr. Umar Johnson and so many other people. That they say they're going to build this in their community. The only thing that people ask in return is that you actually do what you say you're going to do, right? So we living in a different era, different time, in which now a lot of people can. Um, put the money together from everybody in the neighborhood and also go into the uh, online and say, man, we, we, we try to get all our money together so we can own this right here. And then start the building process on that land of trying to make what used to be a poverty area into a better area. There's so many abandoned buildings, abandoned houses, abandoned different things in our communities that you can buy for dirt cheap now. Why don't we buy those properties? Why don't we buy those and try to remodel them to be like, you know, our own form of suburban? Looking you know out the window and seeing guys uh, busting play and hitting jugs all out the window. And you know how, you know how it is in our community. You're seeing dudes, you, you look out your window, you see a dude out there selling dope right outside on the street while kids is playing right there in the playground. Those are the things, man, that has plagued our community. But when I see guys like Sean King in particular, who has spoken so much or tried to speak so much uh, in defense of the Black Lives Matter movement and for the, for the black lives that, that he felt like it was oppressed by the police and so on. That's all cool. And, and, I, and I salute them on that mission. Everybody that was to the, that was speaking for these lives that, that didn't have a voice is what I'm saying. I salute that. But at the same time, we have to stop taking the money. And whether you took that money in particular or not, we got to stop taking our money and not circulating it back in our communities, back with our people. Back with our uh, restaurants, small businesses, so on and so forth. Like we got to put the money back so it can turn back over, and we can come back and build something for our own. Let's quit taking our money, running off in the suburban areas, and acting as though, you know, we are the successful ones, and we and we coming back and speaking to our people, trying to show us the way. But the way you showing us is to go right back to the oppressors or get the money right back to the people that you claim to be speaking against. That's what I see with Sean King. That's what I see with so many others. You guys comment below and let me know what you think about Sean King and his wife getting a getting a, I guess getting a new property or getting a new home out Lake Fort, New Jersey. Um, salute to him. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know we all here to you know create the best life that we can for our family, for oh, our wow. children, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, when will we take our money, go back to our neighborhoods, and build within that? Cause I'm seeing a lot in a lot of communities and a lot of cities and a lot of places, right? A, a lot of times those foreigners are, are going downtown and starting to buy in our communities now and getting it for dirt cheap and they owning everything in our communities and we renting from them. So if we really want ownership, we have to take back our communities. We have to put money back into our communities, not do the thing and what you see with Sean King, take his money, and run off of Lake Forth, New Jersey, or Patricia, or whatever her name is, the Black Lives Matter movement, go $3.2 million allegedly in Malibu. Or, you know what I'm saying? Th these are things that I feel like it's a contradiction of what you're saying with the movement when you're saying the Black Lives Matter and you're saying this and that. Okay, well, if it matters that much, then come back and help these youth. Come back and help the, the foundation of what we are as a community. You know what I'm saying? The kids need to see better playgrounds. The kids need to see um, that, yeah, that it's a big house right there. And, and that's owned by us. Um, it's a big house right there, and that's owned by us. Or these some nice, these some smaller houses, but they're nice. It's nice communities. The grass is cut. It's not trash all over the streets. So on and so forth. These are the things that we need to see in our communities in order to grow, in order to inspire the youth. That's what I just want to say, man. I just want to dive in with you guys. I thank y'all for y'all engagement. We over eleven thousand now. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to go live. If I, you know what I'm saying, if I, if I'm unable, then I'll be gonna give y'all three or four videos. But Everything in me, everything in me, want to go live for the eleven thousand views. I mean, eleven thousand subscribers. I just want to tell you all, I appreciate it. Each one, teach one. As long as we have each other, we continue to grow together. I'm losing sunlight outside until I get my, my I'm get my um my podcast area set up. I'm gonna have the best light and I'm gonna have the best backdrop banner, so on and so forth. So we putting a lot together that we are gonna get about these car, y'all. We are gonna get about this car because we growing and we and we walking in our purpose. So I appreciate all you guys, man. Blessing to your family. Um, each one teach one as long as we have each other we continue to grow together love and respect 100